There's a jack handle, but no jack. Worth grabbing, though. I can't get a signal. The gate won't budge. It won't budge. It won't budge. Break off. Hmm, a good sized piece of rubble. Thank <laughs> you. 
already have some. I can't push the pipe, there's stuff in the way. So, how deep is the hole? Pretty deep. Maybe with a bit of a push. Deep is the hole. Hmm, not that deep. It's an office and some kind of loading bay. Gold plated name tag Ronald Maynard, Director of Engineering. He's the maniac who gave the interview. I wonder what happened to him. Maynard certainly seemed to be into guns and girls. A gun display case. But the gun's gone. I don't know the password.
The computer's gone completely dead now. It's Ronald Maynard. I wonder what happened to him. It's Ronald Maynard. It's Ronald Maynard. A Guns and Girls poster. Just what kind of scientist do we have here? Looks like the secretary's wedding photo. The date scribbled in the corner. The computer's gone completely dead now. That's the right code! Huge hoppers in the floor feed funnels to somewhere down below. I wish I knew how to get down there. Ouch! Where am I? Anyone there? What a mess! And it doesn't look like the explosion caused it all.
Phew, it smells pretty funky. The men's locker room, I think. Hello? The door's locked. I don't have a key card. Door, meet Jack Handle. Let's have that oil. Using that won't work. Use it? How? Yuck! A different smell in there, but just as bad. Someone's been cooking fish.
standing on the table, I can reach it. A stick of gum. Great. I hate gum. The hall downstairs looks like it could be worth investigating. Locked with an old-fashioned lock. No hacking through there. I've thought about it, but I think not. That won't work here. Locked. An old-fashioned lock. I don't have the key. That won't work here. It's the kind of elevator that needs a key to operate and call the car. No key. The door's locked. <laughs> Mr. Spilacci, what do you want me to do? Apparently she knows nothing. Just deal with her. Stick that gun in my face one more time and I'll shove it up your- Hey, sorry lady. Nothing personal. <laughs> Soldier's best friend. I'm jealous already. Hey, who are those guys? At a guess, I'd say Mafia. Yeah, I thought so. They want to destroy me, but they won't! <laughs> I'm too clever for them! <laughs> oh, I'm uh, Maynard. Who are you? I'm a journalist. Oh, yeah? From Paris. I saw you on TV. Talking about the gold. You were pretty good. No, not good. I'm not good. I'm brilliant! Nobody else in the world has done what I've done! Not for thousands of years, anyhow. Monatomic gold! It's real! I've made it! Here! You must be very proud. Proud? Of course I'm proud! The pharaohs! They were the first, you know. Then Moses, he had the secret. He made the gold like me, in the desert. It's magical. 
kills people, but saves them too. Stops disease, but wipes out millions. No wonder they were scared, huh? But I wasn't. I tanked it. It's beautiful, you know. Whoa, you're not, you're not here to steal it, are you? No, I'm here to tell your story to the world. Hmm. Follow me. My own design. What do you think? It's amazing. Uh, brilliant! I know. The gold goes in there, the machine focuses the energy, then wham! Wallop! Mon-atomic gold! Lots of it. Output was fantastic. They wanted as much as I could make, so I made as much as they could ship. <laughs> Who's they? My clients. Why did they want it? For a weapon. A big weapon. I know that's what they were doing and I hate them. I hate them. But that's terrible. Damn right it's terrible. They didn't ask me to help. <laughs> How mad is that? I mean, I love weapons. I'm brilliant at weapons. Weapons are my second favorite subject. Next to gold, huh? No, no. Next to girls. Girls, girls. Oh, man, I even like the word girls. So was there some kind of accident? No, oh, those other men. They came. Blew it all up. Mad. Mad. Mad! Hey, you want to know something? I eat this stuff. Oh, yeah. Every day. Protected me, you see, from their bombs. That was lucky. Lucky? Lucky? Are you insane? I mean, unlucky. So, what happened to Anna Maria? Are you her friend? No. Oh, no. She's not my friend. In fact, I hate her. Good. I hate her too. She's a bitch. A swindling bitch. Took all my money. Millions of dollars. She hid it. I'll show you. It's in here. It must be my money. But I can't open it. I've tried everything. How about... Yeah? Putting the safe in the centrifuge. What? But that would be... Insane? Totally. But would it work? You bet. It's the best idea I ever had! Let's do it! The safe's old-fashioned and very strong. I don't have the code to open it, and I'm not going to guess. Are you sure that thing is safe? Don't worry, lady. In the right hands, this little baby can blow the head off a rattlesnake at half a mile. And I got the right hands. That makes me feel much safer. So you've already tried to open the safe? I fired a couple of rounds into it, but it still wouldn't open. So what's in it again? Proof that she cheated me. She was making a fortune out of my gold. I know she was. Did you invent the process yourself? Yeah, completely! Well, almost. Anna Maria had this old manuscript. It was ancient. Egyptian. Had a couple of shortcuts in it. I didn't need them well. Just a bit. Where did she get it? Who knows? She never said stole it, probably. Tell me more about the centrifuge. I'll be a god amongst men. No one else can make monatomic gold. Tell me more about the gold. I'm making gold. Not ordinary gold, oh no, monatomic gold. They said it couldn't be done. Tell me more about the gold. I've been eating it, you know. Makes you invincible. Live forever. This place must have cost a fortune to build. Oh, it did. Millions. So who paid for it? Ah, the secret people. Shh. Don't mention their name. I won't. But you can tell me. Who are they? Well, I don't know. It's a secret. Great. They saw my research. Gave me money to set this thing up. Very hush-hush. Was Anna Maria with them? She was their front man. <laughs> a man with a front. <laughs> a lady front man. <laughs> you never met anyone else? Uh, once, a guy on the phone. Forget his name. Who cares? That's history. 
tell me about the explosion? I was, uh, I was in the little boy's room. Hm. You want to know what I was doing? It's okay, I don't need the detail. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. I was... I was... washing my hands. <laughs> so it was an accident. Don't be stupid, it was sabotage. That bitch Anna Maria, she owes me money. Why would she blow up the plant? Insurance, why do you think? Were you insured? Hmm, uh, come to think of it, no. So, what about Anna Maria? She cheated me. I made all that gold. She took it. Didn't she pay you? So what if she did? It was mine. Have you no idea at all who she worked for? If I see her, I'll make her pay. That's why I've got my little baby here, huh? Yes. Nice gun. It's mine, and don't you forget it, lady! I don't have the code to open it, and I'm not going to guess. Some kind of roller system, probably used to move the big hoppers about. The control panel works. But the chain's rusted in place. That's not the right thing to do. Pour a bit of oil over the chain. Let's hope the hook's going to hold. The safe's down on the rollers. The panel's dead. Not wired up, I guess. I could hold the two pieces of wire together, but they won't stay there when I let go. Ugh! I hate gum! The piece of gum will hold the wire together. Just. The electrics sound okay now, but the panel still doesn't work. I've connected the wires, but it still doesn't work. I'll fix it.
you go. Good as new. The panels worked, but only partially. I can move all the rollers at once, but not separately. I can't shift it on my own. Could you give me a hand? Need a strong man, huh? Yes, but you'll do. Hey, don't get lippy with me, young lady. There's one person with an AK-47 in this room, and it ain't you! No use. There's a safety mechanism. It's not meant to have an object that size inside. Can't you override it? The safety override button. Centrifuge. Ah. But hey, if you operate it out here, I can hold the button, then come out at the last minute. Sounds dangerous to me. Sounds fun to me, huh? Are you sure that's safe? Safe? Hey, what's the point of safe? All right, press the button. Okay. Here goes. I'll have the folder and keys. Hmm. A bank statement and a technical drawing. The statement shows that the factory has received a large amount of money from St. Michael, account number three. Very interesting. What was that noise? Sounded like a big machine, boss. 
Uh, I know that, you idiot, but what did it do? Dunno, boss. Find the girl, but watch out. That maniac's gotta be around somewhere. Vito! Go out and stay in the hall. Don't let him use the elevator. Yes, boss. They're in the big hall. Time to get out of here. Locked. An old-fashioned lock. There she is! Shoot her! That won't work here. Using that won't work. The door isn't open. A catch to hold the door open. A lot of oil on the floor around the catch. It's slippery now, all right. There's a guard on the elevator room. Bus? Is that you? Stay by the elevator door, Vito. Yes, Bus. That's not appropriate. Time to get out of there. You better not have left the key in the lift, Vito. Come on, boss. I ain't that stupid. <laughs> You're so stupid. You don't even know how stupid you are! Phew! That was close! Jesus Christ.
school. What you talking about? The boss isn't very happy about this, Mr. Fingers. What do you mean, the boss? I am the boss. That's not what Mr. Spalacci says. He wants to speak to you himself. Just putting him on now, Mr. Spalacci. After that, I flew straight back here. So the Order of St. Michael funded the whole Phoenix operation? And Anna Maria ran it. What happened to the gold? Maynard didn't know. You think Anna Maria does? Did. Remember, she wanted you to help her find a missing treasure. Treasure? Exactly. But what kind? What, the elixir of life? Some kind of wonder cure for every illness? Or a weapon. No. No, Maynard was crazy. You can't believe him. Why should he lie? Anna Maria wouldn't have got mixed up in... Maynard was vaporized. That powder, the gold, it's a fuel, Georges. Fuel for a weapon. Believe me. Well, now, I've made a lovely pot of tea. We need to go back and check out the monastery. Oh? Oh, what's happened? Let me come with you. Sorry, Mark. You better leave this to us. I can handle myself. It could be dangerous. We need you here, in case something goes wrong. I always miss the fun. We're not in this for the fun, Mark. Come on, Nico. Let's go. The square's lifeless. Perfect conditions for sneaking in. Hello, Archie. How you doing? Who's that, then? Oh, it's me, George Stobart, from the apartment block. My dear boy, what a pleasure to see you again. Giles, isn't it? I never forget a face. Just names, huh? So, what brings you down this way? Well, in my line of work, you've got to keep moving. Work? I'm writing a book, you see. Oh, what's it called? Tipples Round the Globe. Kid's story, huh? Little cat, maybe, on a boat with some animal chums. Dear me, no. Encyclopedia of booze, country by country. You haven't got very far, then. Can't see straight enough to write. Hmm, wonder why that is. Damn if I know. So how did Brother Mark deal with the bird droppings? Ha! <laughs> that was damn funny, Godfrey. Haven't laughed so much in years. So was he angry? Not until you left. Then he went into a right old paddy, attacked me with his broom. Really? I spent the whole day picking the bristles out of my... Ah, well, all in a good cause. You sure do have a thing for my friend there. She's a fine woman. Curvy. Voluptuous. Lovely soft edges. Huh? You like wine, don't you? I've been known to have the odd drop. What do you make of this? It's a vintage red from inside the Vatican. What kind of bottle do you call that? It's travel size. Well, it wasn't worth the trip if you ask me. So, where do you get your booze from, Archie? Anywhere I can. Dregs from old barrels, drops from empty bottles, paint stripper. Paint stripper? Goes down a treat with coffee and a cigar. When I need a truly great tipple, I head for my secret stash. Secret stash? Shh. Walls have ears. And where is this stash? Damned if I know, Ginger. Then how do you get back there? Body leads, I just follow. Cheers, Archie! What, what, what do you think you're doing? Oh, just admiring your bottle of meths? That, that's got to last me till sunrise, you know. You sure live the high life, Archie. Hey, 
A half-full bottle of Krug champagne. Vatican. Party City. <laughs> when his shift's over. I know how cranky I get when I'm tired. I should just leave him be. Hey, tourist. That place is off limits to you. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, fella. I thought this was my hotel. No, it is not. Now keep away from the door or I shall arrest you. You betcha. <laughs> sure does look like my hotel, though. There doesn't seem to be anyone home. Hey, Archie, can you spare a minute? That's all I can spare, old boy. What's with the maths? It comes off from Macon. It does. The alphabet of booze. Macon, maths, Bouton. Oh, I see. You're not drinking it. You're just tasting. Somebody's got to. But how come he's still alive? That's a moot point, Jeffrey, old fella. How would you like to do a trade for your mess? Well, it depends on what you've got to trade. So, do you fancy my bottle of red, then? It's empty, George. An empty bottle maketh no man drunken. Very perceptive. My intellect is pills. Pickled, you mean? What would you say to this vintage salami, Archie? I'd say, beggar off. Damn stuff gives me wind. I know the feeling. Chapel moves in my kind of circles. Can't afford to have glitches in the old body odor department. Of course. Take a look at this. Isn't it beautiful? It looks like cheap tourist tat to me, old boy. It's an original rosary from the 16th century. Hmm. You think it'd keep my trousers up? I doubt it, Archie. Can I interest you in this one-of-a-kind telescopic golf club? Do I look like a man who has the time to play golf? Time, yes. Inclination, no. Bang on, Garfield! Cheers, Archie! Hey, Nico. You got a minute? Sure. What do you need? I need to get the meths from Archie. Any suggestions? You could try asking him. I think he knows about the bread. How about you ask him for me? Mmm, could get messy. I think I know what he'd want in return. It's all in a good cause. Don't go there, Georges. You know, Archie's pretty taken with you. He knows a good thing when he sees it. You kidding? He can hardly see beyond his bottle. Georges, sarcasm is... One of the Stobart charms, I know. Don't fight it. The Holy Order of St. Michael. That's where Anna Maria was working. Oh yeah, that's the door in the photo. The one where she's a nun. Hey, she wasn't a nun when I met her, okay? So, is that where we're going? No, it's heavily guarded. Inside and out. We can't get in that way. We're going in through the wafer factory. We need to find a way into the wafer factory. Well, what did you do last time? Rang the bell, turned on the old charm, and I was in. Somehow, I think they'll all be in bed by now. Plus, they'll remember who I am. Well then. We'll just have to improvise. I need to get the meths from Archie. Any suggestions? You could try asking him. I think he knows about the bread. How about you ask him for me? Hmm, could get messy. I think I know what he'd want in return. It's all in a good cause. Don't go there, Georges. Oh, thanks, Nico. Got problems with your memory, old boy? Uh, no. Then you'll remember to keep away from my mess.
No way am I doing that. It's a miniature bottle of red wine with a screw cap. I've got no reason to try that. Hey, Archie, can you spare a minute? That's all I can spare, old boy. How would you like to do a trade for your mess? Well, it depends on what you've got to trade. Cheers, Archie. There's no one around. The place seems deserted. It's a miniature bottle of red wine with a screw cap. There's something sinister going on in there. I can't just leave. Trash cans full of paper. On top of the paper is a half empty bottle of champagne. The trash is soaked from the champagne. Nah, it's not going to light like this. No way am I doing that. That's not such a good idea. Hey, Archie, can you spare a minute? That's all I can spare, old boy. How would you like to do a trade for your mess? Well, it depends on what you've got to trade. Do you like champagne? It used to be my daily tipple. Of course, the best. Ah, none has to be crude. Well, it's your lucky day, Archie. I'm going to give you this half-full bottle of Krug for your nearly finished bottle of mess. I say, Georgie, you're quite a gentleman. For a yank. Thanks. Cheers, Archie. The meths are mine. I can feel the arsonist in me coming back to the surface. Oh, the smell of the mess makes my eyes sting. Well, here goes. The guards will be coming any moment. Time to hide. Emergency. Emergency. The bin is burning. The bin is burning. Let's face it, it's night, no one's around, and it's the papal service tomorrow. I'm not getting in that way. Now that the guards have their hands full, I can get inside unnoticed.
No need to go messing with the boxes of communion supplies. They've served their purpose. Door's locked, but I need to search this place anyway. Locked. Not eh, to be expected, really. Machines off and no doughs being mixed. No need to mess with the machine. So, oh, a secret room containing a secret machine. What are you talking about? This is our backup machine for special orders. Now, how did you get in here? And do I have to call the Swiss Guard before you'll leave? I think the sister and I need to have ourselves a little chat. What are you planning to do? Let's just say we need to get sisterly. You check around in here. It won't take long. Good luck. Oh, uh, you too, sister. You're gonna need it. A batch of wafers cooling down the conveyor. Hmm, they smell good. Well, no one's watching. I'll have one. Hmm, pretty good. I'm sure another wouldn't do any harm. Now, what do these buttons do? This wafer making business is trickier than it looks. Something in the darkness. No, it can't be. But the base of the mixing vats. Traces of gold dust. It's monatomic gold. But what's this stuff doing near a wafer making machine? These look like the mixing vats and dough mixers. It isn't for dough, so what is it for? The equipment to measure the different parts of the mixture looks incredibly accurate. The gold has to be added here so as not to contaminate the larger batches. Why make only small amounts of wafers with monatomic gold in them? Huh? I can hear Nico returning with Sister Angelica. I think she'll cooperate now. Won't you, Sister? So, this wafer machine, what's it for? Special orders. I think for Il Papa himself. And what makes them special? The holy powder, of course. As a matter of fact, we've just finished a run tonight. Why is this machine used only for special orders? Why doesn't every wafer have the holy powder? If every wafer had it, it wouldn't be special, would it? Careful, sister. Don't you think it's a bit strange having a special powder to make a special batch of wafers? I just do what I'm told. 
What's happened, George? I found traces of monatomic gold in this machine. But why would the church be putting gold into communion wafers? One thing's for sure. It's not to protect their teeth. Where's the rest of this holy powder? I have no idea. A batch came in and left almost immediately. It's being used for something else, I suppose. Someone's coming. But no one uses the factory at night. Quickly, shut the doors. It's Cardinal Gianelli. I don't think he's catching up on his paperwork. That's very odd. He never uses the factory entrance. I think we need to follow him. Um, what should I do? Stay here and pray for forgiveness. Look, Nico, there he is. Considering he's the boss, he looks pretty shifty. He must be headed for the offices. I'll go across the garden. You wait under those trees. Once I'm safely across, you join me. Sure thing, George. there guards hey what are you doing there guards What took you so long, Georges? What the? You know me. I'm not one to hang around. That's what I've always liked about you, Nico. A fast mover. Locked. Not a chance while that locking beam is in place. A large pair of double doors set into the floor. It must lead to some sort of old crypt. The necropolis must be somewhere around here. Not a chance while that locking beam is in place. Devlin's office door is slightly open. I can hear movement inside. There's someone in there. Shh! Hey, Nico, take a look. Those are Devlin's files. What's he up to?
correct me if I'm wrong here, Cardinal, but isn't that somebody else's safe? Or do you just not give a damn any longer? You. Haven't you done enough damage? No, oh, we've only just started. And we don't have much time. Where's the weapon? <laughs> you ask me? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. Yes, Your Eminence, don't pretend. Good timing, guys. So it is true, Monsignor Devil. You and the Americans were working together all along. Once again, Your Eminence, you fail to understand what is happening in front of your own eyes. We were working with Americans, but not this one. We must all be prepared to die for our faith. May the Lord forgive me. Ginelli was weak. He refused to let us build the weapon. But the weapon is our destiny! God granted it to the Order hundreds of years ago to smite the infidel when the time was right. And the time is right now, but Ginelli wouldn't listen. He was going to stop us. Fortunately, we found you in time. We couldn't have done it without you, Mr. Stobart. You translated the manuscripts, found the cherub, and even stopped the Cardinal for us tonight. Remarkable. Oh, anytime. So, what happens now? We change the course of the world. And if we hadn't turned up when we did, he might have been able to stop us. But why? He betrayed the Order two years ago by forbidding us to use the Ark. Only Father Gregor and I have the strength to fulfill the Order's destiny, to smite the infidel and prove the righteousness of the One Faith. You mean kill everyone who hasn't taken on religion? It is our calling. So what happens now? We can use her, but we don't need him. You're right. Take her downstairs. Well, what happens to me? You're going to a much better place. Wake up, George, wake up! Oh, where's my wheelbarrow? What? I'm so sick and tired of being knocked out. All part of the job, I guess, for you. Mark? How did you get here? Abseiling's not as dangerous as it looks. So I see. I've been training all my life for this moment, George. Where's Nico? I don't know. He's alive. You must stop them. Nobody else here knows about this. Only you. But what are they doing? Where are they? They have the Ark. The Ark? And they have the gold to power it. I tried to stop them. You use the Mafia? God will forgive me. But the girl, Anna Maria, she was too clever for me. For me too. But your eminence, what will the Ark do? The Angel of Death will rise up and destroy the unbelievers for miles around. Only those whose faith is true will be saved. Devlin believes it will show the world that there is only one true God. He wants to start a worldwide crusade. Where is he? And where's Nico? You must stop him. Here. Take the manuscript. Find the Ark. Find the Ark and stop him. He's dead. We have to find Nico. A Gregor said something about downstairs. A powerful image of the Ark of the Covenant. Light, or could it be fire, is pouring out over the land below. Three images of Jesus with the cross, carrying, putting it down, and the actual crucifixion. Symbol of the Mamluk. Symbol of the Hospitaller. Symbol of the Assassin. 
symbol of the Turk, symbol of the Templars, the second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No Malmuk can follow Templar or Hospitaller of lowly breed. Malmuk must follow Turk to escape the assassin, sidestep to right. Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back. The fourth. The master shall show the way through the warmth of his heart. The second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No, no Malmuk can follow Templar or Hospitaller. Of lowly breed, Malmuk must follow Turk to escape the assassin sidestep to right. Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back. The second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No Malmuk can follow Templar or Hospitaller. Of lowly breed, Malmuk must follow Turk to escape the assassin, sidestep to right. Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back. The fourth. The master shall show the way through the warmth of his heart. Finally, Thou must prove thyself to be true. There's a lock on the inside of the trap doors, but I need to get to it. Try and hold these doors open a little for me, would you? Oh, you give it a go. I can't break the lock with my hands. No way am I doing that. Try and hold these doors open a little for me, would you? Oh, you give it a go. Well done, Mark. We make quite a good team. Funny. In my dreams there was always a beautiful blonde cheering me on at a moment like this. A blonde, as in blonde girl? Of course. Oh, well, I thought you were, well, you know. What, George? Why, well, I, I kind of thought you didn't, well, have those feelings uh, for uh, women. George, I may wear the garb of a priest, but inside there still beats the heart of a hot-blooded male. The hourglass is turnable. 
And which way should I turn it? Where should I turn it? The second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No Malmut can follow Templar or Hospitaller of lowly breed. Malmut must follow Turk. To escape the assassin, sidestep to right. Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back. Where should I turn it? And which way should I turn it? Where should I turn it? Where should I turn it? And which way should I turn it? The angel's head clicks back into place. Uh, uh, 
the angel's head clicks back into place. The head of the angel looks pretty menacing. Around its neck there's a groove as if the head can be removed. The angel's head clicks back into place. Mark, help me! What do you need? Do you really think they have the Ark? I never doubted its existence. It's a weapon, though, and, and Gianelli said they had enough gold to power it. But why would they kill innocent people? To cleanse the world of unbelievers? It's quite a popular notion these days. All those nights watching action movies paid off, huh? I always dreamed something like this would happen. I never thought it would be right here in the Vatican. A regular Catholic crusader. I like that, George. I like that a lot. Mark, do you know your way around this place? Uh, where could they have taken Nico? There's supposed to be an ancient necropolis somewhere, but I doubt you can reach it from here. It's underground, yeah? The whole Vatican is riddled with secret crypts and hidden chapels. If the Ark is a weapon, then what can be done to stop it? Beats me. Thank you, Mark. The angel's head clicks back into place.
I, I really didn't come here to read. The Ark of Ashdod, depicting the slaughter of the innocents. I have to stop the same thing happening again here and now. Described in the book of Samuel, it depicts the power of the Ark of the Covenant devastating the populace of Ashdod. Mark, this weapon, the Ark, it must be what Gregor and Devlin plan to unleash. Holy Mother of God! George, we must stop them! The image of an angel carved into the frame sits serenely at the bottom right of the painting. There's a large crack around her neck. Now why carve that? Painted in the left corner is a depiction of an angel carved into the frame. Now there's a crack around her neck. Which way should I turn it? And which way should I turn it? The angel's head clicks back into place. Nothing. Something's missing. Hmm, that won't work here. Mark! Help me! What do you need? Thank you, Mark. Satisfying click. It looks like the head is now locked in place. As I move the angel's head back, a stone slab in the floor slides backwards. As I let go of the angel's head, the door shuts again. That's too quick for me to make it through in time. Mark! 
Help me! What do you need? Thank you, Mark. As I move the angel's head back, a stone slab in the floor slides backwards. As I let go of the angel's head, the door shuts again. That's too quick for me to make it through in time. As I move the angel's head back, a stone slab in the floor slides backwards. As I let go of the angel's head, the door shuts again. That's too quick for me to make it through in time. Mark, help me! What do you need? Thank you, Mark. Mark, I need you to do something for me. I want you to hold the angel's head back so I can go through the door. That means I won't be able to come with you. Where I'm going is no place for a priest. But George, I studied Tai Chi, Jiu Jitsu, Korean kickboxing. I know the SAS handbook backwards. I've seen every Bond movie ever made. And I can hold my breath underwater for two minutes. Whoa, two minutes? How'd you do that? Vatican diving team champion, two years running. Cool. So, can I come? Sorry, Mark. Be careful, George! Hmm. I smell catacombs. Home from home. The door is very locked. The plastic cover is screwed tightly to the wall. The junction box is now open. Handling live wires with bare hands is not a good idea. With my lucky gloves on, I can pry the wire loose. Ouch, that is really hot. is very locked.
bomb in the socket. St. Michael. Spread out. The explosion came from here. Someone's coming. What have we here? Here, fellas. Well, well, well. Small world, Anna Maria. Or maybe that's not even your real name. It's real. Is it? Why did you come after me, George? You were working for Gregor all along, weren't you? I believed what we were doing was right. Including murder? I thought we were going to bring millions to the faith peacefully. You lied to me. Not everything was a lie. Istanbul? That wasn't a lie. I thought you'd been kidnapped. I suppose I had been. All along. What about this whole nun thing? What? You know what I mean. You really a nun? I never took my vows, so no. Well, that's something, I suppose. Trust me, George. Believe in me, please. Yeah? You better stop the bad guys first. And I've got to find Nico. Nico? The old friend? Yes. Gregor took her. She's down here somewhere. Oh my god! They're going to use her! We don't have much time! Use her? The Ark! It needs a human interface to work. Yes, it's somewhere down here, underneath St. Peter's. We have to find it before the ceremony. The ceremony? The service for world religious leaders. Up there, it's due to start any minute. Come on, George. The Ark, it's through that passage. What's beyond the other entrance? I don't know. Since they brought me here, I've been kept a virtual prisoner. Why? After Istanbul. They didn't trust me anymore. I don't understand. They saw me and you. Together. Ah. Five. The Ark delivers the power of the Lord to destroy the enemies of the chosen people. From Jericho through Ai, and from Hebron to Jerusalem, with its power they are triumphant. Seven. Many times the holy city is destroyed and built again. The chambers are forgotten. Fifteen centuries pass. Nine. 
a band of worthy knights found the poor knights of Christ and the Temple of Solomon, dedicated to unearthing the secret for the benefit of Christendom. Ten, excavating under the Temple of Solomon, the knights find the great knowledge and the Ark itself. Eleven, the Ark is taken to the Temple Monastery in Paris and is made ready for the command of the Lord. The knowledge is used for the benefit of Christendom. Twelve, an unworthy king and an unholy pope conspire to destroy the knights and steal the secret. A good priest alerts the brave knights and they determine that the Ark must not fall into the hands of the enemy. That I know already. Four, Amenhotep IV summons the angel to prove that he has true command over Mufkutst. The priests of El Shaddai, Lord of the Mountain, are in surrender to his will. The exodus begins. Amenhotep IV takes the name Moses. My God! So Moses was an Egyptian pharaoh? Six, Solomon the Wise great temple in Jerusalem. The ark and all the ancient knowledge, the secret, is placed in chambers deep below the temple. Fourteen. The Order of St. Michael is founded by the knights before their destruction. Its divine mission to find and assemble the parts of the Ark when called upon by the Lord to defend Christendom. So this is the destiny of the Order of St. Michael. And Mifkitst? Monatomic gold, no less. It all makes sense. Thirteen. The parts of the Ark are taken and each is secretly hidden. The location of each part is concealed in a manuscript so that only the worthy can find them again. Horeb, Constantinople, and Rome. <laughs> How ironic to hide one of the parts right underneath the mortal enemy. Hold it right there! Father Gregor will want... Take that! Ah! Oh, oh, what have I done? It's all right, Archie. You haven't killed him. He's just knocked out. <laughs> Who cares about him? That was my last bottle of 85. Well, thanks for the rescue. What are you doing down here? Ah, my secret stash, old boy. You mean the Pope's cellar? Well, somebody's got to help the old boy finish it off. What? George, we must get going. The service will start any minute. Nice bumping into you, Gary, me old boy. It time I was off, too. Gotta start a new chapter in the old book. Come on, Anna Maria. Let's find Nico. Holy crosses? Puzzles? Just like we had in Istanbul. system of diagrams and rollers. What could it possibly do? I'm so sorry I wasn't straight with you before, George. I'm so sorry I wasn't straight with you before, George. Of the Templar 
Wars. Three images of Jesus with the cross, carrying, putting it down, and the actual crucifixion. of Jesus with the cross, carrying, putting it down, and the actual crucifixion. George? We're not there yet. Uh-oh. Oh, George, you find a way across. Whoa. I'll follow. Close call. Second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No Malmut can follow Templar or Hospitaller. Of lowly breed, Malmut must follow Turk to escape the assassin, sidestep to right. Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back. That was pretty good, but I think I can do it faster. Go on then.
Whoa. George, be careful. You better let me walk across first. Okay. Help! George! Ah! Uh, I'm being crushed. Look around for a release button. There are some levers up here, but which should I pull first? The assassin lever. The Turk lever. Oh, try the Malmuk lever. The Templar one. George, that's it. Thank God you're safe. I don't want to lose you again, George. We need to push on. Budge. The fourth, the master shall show the way through the warmth of his heart. That's not the right approach. That's not such a good idea. This is where the Ark was hidden. And the cherubs with it? I'm kind of assuming the cherub you and I found in Istanbul was from the Ark. In the paintings, there are always two of them. That's right. I helped decode a manuscript to find the other one, two years ago below the temple of Mount Horeb. My God. Moses' mountain itself. Where the Ten Commandments were handed to Moses. That was our first breakthrough, George. It was so exciting. Then the plant in Phoenix was blown up, and everything changed. Gregor began to panic. He said we had to get help. So that's when you came to me? Yes. And that's when I realized I was on the wrong side. Damn. What do we do now? Uh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. We'll find a way out. Of course we will. The emblem's got a slot in it, and the words, Memento Mori. Nice work, George. Listen, George, the mass has started. Security. Ex-Turkish security. 
now just a free spirit, making a living. George, my friend, I would be grateful if you desisted from damaging the Ark any further. My clans have requested their new weapon be fully serviceable on receipt. Step away, please. So you can sell the thing to the highest bidder? I don't think so. George, there isn't much time. I will shoot her, George. Just keep going, George. Nico, you okay? Oh, I'll be alright. Nothing a good drink won't cure. George? What's the matter? No. Oh no, Anna, Anna! I'm sorry, George. This wasn't supposed to happen. George, I'm so sorry. She stepped in the way. She did it for me. There's nothing you can do. She was on my side all along. I never told her. Come on, Georges. We better go. Vanish into smoke, don't leave me locked outside These sinister pursuers, black cats that stalk our dreams Hand in hand we'll find our peace, phoenix from the flames Undecided, our future waits unwrit. The chaos echoes in our ears like a hundred minarets. Above us is the sunshine, tomorrow yet to meet. Can you feel me on your shoulder? Let me lift you to your feet. the beginning and I am always near. Remember the end is only the beginning and I